Uh, hello guys, welcome again in Global Videos. Uh, as I uh, talked to you earlier that uh, in our every video I am trying to uh, bring some new stuff uh, in front of you guys that so you can learn something from it. So uh, recently we have been uh, making different videos about Adobe Photoshop, its tutorial and uh, the usage of uh, simple tools. So today's video is also about Adobe Photoshop and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use content aware move tool uh, like how you can move uh, some stuff in a picture to some other place how you can extend the number of uh, anything in the picture for example and uh, how to uh, use a fill tool for example if you want to move or remove something from a picture so uh, if you want to learn it completely so just watch this complete video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel so please subscribe the channel and keep watching global videos so welcome again guys uh, as i told you early that uh, today i'm going to show you something different in this video about adobe photoshop and uh, one really interesting tool which you can use uh, for example to cut any part of your uh, picture or project and remove it uh, completely without uh, changing the whole picture or whole uh, scene so this is basically really interesting and uh, important work in any project for example if you want to uh, remove just uh, a specific part of, from the picture for example like uh, in some cases uh, some some stuff can fall on your shirt for example and you just want to remove this uh, mark from your uh, t-shirt but not the whole picture or you don't want to remove for example usually uh, people use corp tool for example to just cut the whole picture and just show a specific part on the picture but uh, basically they don't want to do this they just want to remove this spot or something like that so in this video I'm gonna show you one really interesting tool which you can use uh, to uh, remove in unwanted stuff person or something which is uh, being added to your picture for example sometime you can say accidentally you put something or if you are going to have a good photography and someone uh, like mistakenly comes in and you want to remove it for example then how you can do it so uh, let's go to the project so as you can see that I have uh, opened one picture in, front, in, in, in this uh, project. You can see I have uh, opened one picture with three people in it. And uh, for example, if you want to remove any of these person from this picture, then uh, how you can do it and uh, what you need to do to remove this person. So for example, you can do a, say, use selection tool, uh, like just a basic selection, or you can lesser tool, and you can use maybe a quick selection, for example. So I will prefer for uh, this project just lesser tool, and uh, I will select the person, for example, if I want to uh, remove this first person from uh, this picture, I just have to uh, make a selection for this picture and uh, you can see that uh, i have selected all the unwanted uh, uh, parts and stuff what i want to remove from this picture by uh, using just simple lasso tool or you can use any free selection tool or magic selection tool any tool which uh, helps you to make selection and you can see here on the top you have uh, like uh, uh, also three options for example which you can use also in this picture this is just a new selection tool and this additional selection tool on the second for example this part of the picture is not being selected so i don't want to remove any part of uh, the first person which i selected i want to remove it complete so i will make another selection you can see in this picture i did uh, complete it for example you can do like this to make a complete selection so after that the basic and most important thing how you can remove this person from this picture without like uh, using any crop uh, tool or without for example cutting the picture from the half so you basically want to have this whole picture but you just uh, need to uh, move this first person out of the picture so for that you have to go in edit and then fill when you will go here you can see that uh, you have different options here so basically content uh, you need to go there and you need to use like content aware tool 
and uh, it's really important to use color adoption this uh, 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 color adaptation section you need to mark it it should be active otherwise your selection and this tool will not be working and you need to see opacity for example you can change it from here and you need to check the mode which mode do you want to use we are not going in this option because uh, our basic focus is for now just to how can you remove some person from uh, any picture so we are just going to use here content aware option and uh, you need to select color adaptation option and just you need to do ok and you will see that it's working and that's it so you can see that uh, uh, here for example this picture has been removed but it has uh, left some marks on it so uh, basically our uh, main point in this picture was to uh, show you like how you can uh, remove someone from any picture without removing all the picture so i can show you some further things in this picture uh, like uh, how you can remove for example this part of the picture which has been automatically added in this picture so uh, for that i'm going to uh, show you another picture so i'm going to open one more picture from this or maybe this picture so you can see that uh, there are two martial arts uh, in this picture so simply what i will do is uh, like i will make again a selection and uh, for example you can see it's, it's been selected i will go again to uh, fill option and you can see that it's been selected already like content aware and uh, color adaptation is also been selected so just simply okay and uh, you can see that it's working on it but this part of the picture it's been still over there so simply what you can do is to remove this left selection in this picture you need the basic thing what and the easiest thing is clone tool for example you can select any selection if i will click on the screen you can see that uh, it's uh, saying that it's not working because the area has not been defined so what i have to do is press alt and click on the screen so i just i want to take this part of screen and i will just go on moving here for example and uh, you can see and now i will clone it again so i'm going to take this part of or this part of the picture and i will clone it over so uh, you can see that there is another picture being selected so i don't want to use it for that you have to uh, make a selection for example where you can see that it will not take the edges so uh, as you can see here i did make it and you can see i will make the whole selection so the person from the picture has been removed and i'm gonna use again clone tool here and you can see so this has been merged so basically you can see the difference the person from the picture the second person who was here he has been removed from this picture so and the leaving original picture on its original position so this is the process of using a fill tool for example for any of your picture and uh, you can just uh, use it for removing any person anything in your picture what you uh, really don't want to have it so i'm back here on the uh, same picture what i was working again on it so you can see i'm gonna use here clone tools and uh, like for example this and you can just move it away so basically you can use these tools for example to uh, just take anything from any picture remove anything from any picture for example i'm gonna select here this tool and just put it there you can see the stair so like this you can for example remove uh, all part of this picture so i'm gonna select here and i'm gonna just paste here you can see i just need to move it and uh, the uh, basic picture what what i have selected I mean like it's basically a really interesting and useful tool and it has removed the third person from the picture uh, without changing the original setup for the picture so I can further remove this part of the picture also for example I can go and I can like uh, maybe uh, use again uh, clone tool and you need to just uh, 
just I need to have a little size of the brush so I can select here and just post here so you can see that for example it has removed the rest uh, part of uh, the picture and uh, it seems like much realistic now so as you can see that the third person from this picture has removed and I have shown you which tool you are supposed to use and uh, what color effects you need to use for example and uh, how you can implement on it but basically you need to make a selection before using this tool so i hope you like uh, this part of video and now i'm going to sh i'm gonna close these pictures and uh, i will maybe show you uh, one more tool which you can use so uh, for this i'm gonna open another picture in my uh, computer screen so you can see that uh, there is another picture in the screen and where you can see there is a beach some birds and some people on the uh, on the screen and you can also see the chairs here so uh, basically what tool i am talking about you can always find here if not then it it, it should be like uh, in additional tools for example so uh, what tool I am using it's here content aware move tool if I select this tool and uh, you can see that there is a bird flying over so what I have to do I have to make a selection for this and uh, now if you want to see that what I'm gonna use here is also uh, selection options like you can uh, use a new selection for example make an additional selection or subtract it from it so basically I'm gonna move it you can see that I will use the move option here in the mood and take it away and put it on another place and just enter so you have seen that this bird is moved from the lower position to here I'm gonna do it uh, uh, again so I will undo this picture you can see that I did simply use the move tool just drag it away but the difference between this is like you can see that there is a bird here down if I will move it it will remove its original position and take it up but it will not remove the background or its color will not explode so you can see that I have moved it just simply I have to do enter when I did enter so it's removed the bird from the lower place and it did go to upper place here so uh, there is another option so I will make again the simple selection so you can see there and uh, I need to go again in mood here you can see there is an option it's called extend if I will press the button and take it you can see that it's simply dragging the picture away from uh, the original pic original bird picture here I did move it down and now when I will leave the mouse it it shows also to me that if I can just extend the picture change the size and uh, but I just want to keep it as it is so I need to just press enter for that you will see that there has been made another selection another uh, bud has been copied from there to the next place so basically what you need to do is you don't need to make a fully selection for example here you usually use the lasso tool to make a selection and then you need to make a copy so this tool is way too simple it's way too easy for example to make any selection and from there you just need to uh, uh, just need to copy or drag a person so it's called content aware move tool just you need to make a simple selection like this you can see on the screen and uh, then for example uh, if you want to move it or just extend it so you can do it for example you can see in the screen so I'm gonna uh, extend the size of the bird as you can see in the screen that uh, it's been uh, moved from one place to another place and it has been uh, copied from one place to another pick uh, place and it did make another extension for the picture for example if I'm gonna uh, make uh, these chairs uh, to move to another place what I have to do for that you can also use like uh, these quick selection tools but I'm still gonna use this lasso tool for selecting these pictures for example if I'm gonna select this you can see that I have made a selection and uh, now I'm gonna use this tool again so uh, you can see that I have selected the content aware move tool and simply you just need to be aware if you want to extend it or if you want to move it so I just want to extend it from here for example you can see that 
uh, I have moved it to the right so yeah and uh, if you want to extend it again for example so you just need to uh, use the tool again and simply you see here extension is selected and uh, you can just move it again for example as many as uh, time as you want and you can move it again for example and uh, I just want to move it to right side for example and uh, for example if you uh, just want to move this place uh, move this tool to another place for example you just need to uh, make a selection like you can see on the screen and uh, I want to use now this move tool you can see I have selected the move tool it will move this picture from one place to another so you can see that uh, it has been moved but you can see there is a distortion I have made an extra selection to show you if for example there is some problem in editing or if you made mistake in editing so how can you uh, just change something in this picture for example you can see there so simply what you can use is your clone tool for example you can make a selection make a selection from any place uh, like this you can see here I did make a selection so just go on putting over there and you will see that it removes the extra patches or extra places which has been added to your picture this is one way to do this and uh, for example if there is another way how you can just uh, fix this uh, mess up so you need to go to patch tool for example I have made a selection here uh, you can see here I will make a selection and uh, I'm just gonna have this picture in the in I just go, can have for example uh, this this part of the picture from another place like you can see I want to add this for example here and just simply enter so you can see that the patch has been applied and the broken part of the picture uh, has been removed so this is how these two tool uh, work for just changing any picture for example how you can move it uh, and I need to, uh, I, I show you how you can edit any picture or remove someone from one place to another and uh, how you can move something from one picture to another so and uh, how to add or subtract something from a picture so I hope you like uh, the video today so uh, just keep watching our channel and if you haven't still subscribed our channel so please subscribe the channel and for more uh, information and more uh, learning just keep watching global videos thank you for